Hi, I'm Jim Joy. I'm with the Compact Wheel Loader Group at Caterpillar. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our brand new Compact Wheel Loaders. We've got a 910K, and behind me here I've got a 914K. There's a lot of new things about these machines that I'd like to tell you about. We've got all new loader front end that is just like our, our bigger wheel loaders, the K-Series family. Got this optimized Z-Bar loader linkage that helps us uh, get more into the pile get faster cycle times, and have a lot of parallelism for fork work. Also, it has better tilt recovery to keep loads solid as you go up and down the range. We also have a new cab on board. Gives us better visibility all around, front to rear. And we also have a new rear end engine frame. And the engine is actually now longitudinal with the machine versus being crosswise or transverse. And that also helps us get better visibility to the rear end and helps us with our design as far as creating a, a more stable machine with better tipping loads. Okay, so I'd like to take you around these two machines a little bit. Of course, we've got the 910K right behind me and, and the 914K. Now, if you were to look at these side by side, dimensionally, they're almost the same. And, but we have made some very key differences between the two models, so it helps you make a choice of which one's better for you, okay? Uh, first off, the loaders themselves. Okay, we have the CAT optimized Z-Bar loader linkage. Both of those are essentially identical dimensionally, but there's higher uh, hydraulic forces in the 914K. So that's gonna give you better breakout force, about 20% more breakout force in the 914 versus the 910. And then also that gives you more lift capacity. Uh, if you look at the tires side by side, the 910 comes standard with the 15.5, 25 tires, and the 914 comes with the 17.5, 25 tires. So a little bit bigger, they're slightly taller, and they're a little bit wider for a little bit better stance on the, on the ground. So, um, so we've got those differences. Also, the rear end, that's a, there's a key difference there. Uh, the 910, it's got a, a it's got a standard a new standard frame on the rear end, and then on the 914, it's got a beefier frame uh, designed to put more weight in the back end to have higher tipping mode capability in that machine. Also, the counterweight in the rear of these machines, uh, the 914 has a heavier counterweight by about a whole metric ton, or about 2,200 pounds of difference. Okay, so that gives it that extra ability to handle those hydraulics up front. Okay, so those are the key differences between a 910 and a 914. So now I'd like to take you through our new CAT optimized Z-Bar loader linkage. Okay, this linkage here is exactly the K family style loader linkage. And we've brought that into the compact wheel loader line, the 910 and the 914 Ks. What we've done here is we've kind of married up the benefits of a traditional Z-Bar loader linkage along with the benefits of the old VersaLink or the integrated tool carrier type linkage. Combine those into one style of linkage so that you can increase the versatility of this one loader linkage, however, to suit the application. Now what I'm talking about there is that this linkage is optimized in order to get great breakout force. So, we're able to have a, a larger tilt cylinder here that gets a lot of force to break out, break out into a pile. And then it also has very fast cycle times. The way this is optimized, the geometry allows you to, to get in and out of the pile very quickly. Again, just like the traditional Z-bars. And then it also has, because of the simplified design here, it has great visibility down to the bucket. And we've optimized the visibility corridors to get to the buckets, or if you have a set of forks up front, be able to see those fork tines uh, through the, the carriage and through the coupler to, to see the tips of those forks as you engage a pallet, okay? And then also it's got the, um, the ability to um, have a simplified linkage, which means there's fewer pin joints in order to go after and service, and, that, and, and because there's fewer parts, again, that helps that visibility. Now, if you add a coupler like is shown here, that's the integrated tool carrier uh, coupler, or the IT, or we also call it standard coupler 
on this machine. And that allows you to get that versatility, drop buckets off, pick up a set of forks, pick up brooms, hook up the hydraulics, and then you've got all the functionality of an integrated tool carrier. Okay, and then we also have the ability to put on what we call an ISO standard coupler, and that will allow customers that currently are operating competitive equipment and be able to come over to Caterpillar with these machines and then adapt their work tools uh, into their fleet here. So we try to adapt all those great features into one linkage and make it as versatile as possible so that people can, can get the job done. When you actually do have the integrated tool carrier coupler on, on board, you're able to get that parallelism that, they ex that customers expect and also be able to get the, the tilt recovery capability so that we hold that load securely all the way up and down the range. So we have a new drivetrain on board these machines as well. Basically, this is a pure hydrostatic transmission. And what that means is that you've got a very smooth operation all the way through the speed range of the machine. But having said that, we also have uh, a low range speed and a high range. And the difference there is that you can actually select uh, the, the maximum speed for the machine depending on the operation or the application. Meaning we have, in low range, we have two speeds, speed one and speed two. In speed one, that would be used for like pile work, very tight operations going from a pile to a truck, let's say, where you really want high RPM, but you don't want a lot of ground speed. Okay, so you want fast, uh, a lot of RPM to get the loader up in the air faster, but you don't want the wheels spinning so fast. The speed two would be as if you're on a little bit larger job site, and so you want to travel a little bit around from point A to point B, and that kind of helps you get there faster. You still have the same amount of rim pull to get into a pile, but you're able to travel a little bit faster and get the job done faster that day. Now, if you're going down the street, you have to go to the next job site, that's where high range comes in. You can do that on the go, flip the switch in the, in the cab, it kicks you up into high gear, it still gives you maximum rim pull, but it smoothly takes you up to 40 kph or 25 miles an hour to get to that next job site quickly. Lots of benefit built into this new drivetrain in the 910Ks and the 914Ks. I'd like to show you a little bit about our improved service access. Now, right off the, the uh, start here, we've got a customer-driven feature built in. It's a little fuel access service door. I can easily open this small panel and I have easy access to the fuel. I can close that up and then I'm back in action. Now you can imagine in snowy conditions and preparing a machine for um, a day's work, having a lot of buildup of snow or mud will make that a whole lot easier. Now if I'm looking to do services, I can open up this gull wing and you see how the fenders are attached to the side door. Very large side door up out of the way and now that exposes me to very easy service accesses here. Now what I'm talking about is that we have a hydraulic fill point, which on the side, I can see the hydraulic oil level very easily. And it's a translucent uh, tank, by the way, so you can actually see the, the uh, hydraulic oil level inside. Also, the coolant is filled from above with another one of those small access panels. Very easy to do, and actually visually from my position, be able to see the, the uh, fluid level of the coolant. Also, we have easy access to the hydraulic oil filter the engine oil filter, and then also the fuel water separator slash filter assembly right here, easy access. And it's also clear so that you can see how much water or sediment is built up inside that, uh, that filtration cartridge. We also have easy access to the electrical cutoff switch right here. You can see the fuel filler and the fuel tank in the rear of the machine. And then also there are a few different points where you can actually fill um, engine oil depending on the type of container you're using. We also have ground access to our engine air filters here and on the back side of it, you can see the service indicator so you know exactly when to service your filters. So throughout this, this area here, we've really improved the service access for the, the K-Series uh, loader.
Let me take you inside the engine compartment, show you how easy the service is on the machine right hand side. Now this panel opens up, very large panel, carries the fender with it. So as I open it, it exposes a lot of the access points inside the engine. Things like the air conditioning, the service points here, easy to get to, easy to, to uh, hook up the hoses. There's a battery right behind this panel, being easy to get that the battery out. Also, um, the alternator is within my reach. There's a closed circuit breather that every 1500 hours the, the filter needs to be changed out. Easy enough to get access to that. Also, the starter is very easy to access for any kind of service on that. The DPF also is in easy reach at 3000 hour interval uh, for those kind of services as well. So as you can see, it's a very open design, easy to get to all the services on the machine right hand side. Even right here, we've got the circuit breakers mounted on a panel for very easy access for a serviceman. Let me take you through this new K-Series cab. What we've got is very wide open area to get my sight lines to the loader. Also over my shoulder, I can see easily to the left side or to the right corner here, seeing that rear counterweight. And that gives me the confidence that I've got great visibility to the rear end. Also, air ride suspension seat, got the air adjustability, got lumbar support as well. Also behind the seat, there's a switch for the heat function, especially in those cold winter days. Also, another nice feature built into this machine is the inching braking pedal. Now, half of the pedal is the high stat uh, decelerator, okay? And so you have the, the, the decel functionality and the, and the high stat control, and then beyond halfway, you get into the mechanical brakes. Now, what that means is that an operator can modulate between the throttle and the high stat deceleration and use that all day long without wearing out any components. You're simply de-stroking the high stat or slowing down hydraulically. If you really need to hold on a slope or something like that, you can get into the brakes, or if you have to brake faster, you get into the mechanical brakes. But you can ride those two pedals and get into a really good rhythm uh, doing, let's say, tight V-cycle pile work into a truck. Great function there. We also have a tilt steering wheel which carries the front console with it, and it's got uh, light switches and other functionality built into it, along with the front console display. And then over here on the right side, we have an all new functionality here with the operator selectable new features here. Now these are electronic tuning, and what I'm talking about there is that we have an implement modulation setting here, and it has three different function, or three different settings. You can have a very aggressive, with all three LEDs lit up, it's a very aggressive action in the joystick, or you can smooth that out. And what I'm talking about is if you're doing very fast cycle pile work into a truck, you probably want to be on the highest setting or all three LEDs lit up. If you're doing fork work, you would back that down a little bit so you can have very smooth actuation in that joystick and get into the pallets pretty easily. Now another new function is the drive drivetrain uh, aggressiveness. And again, that has three different settings. So again, if you're doing that really fast V-cycle work, you can jack that up to the, the, to the uh, highest setting, and that gives you very fast shifts between forward and reverse. And then you can also back that down. Again, if you're doing something pretty sensitive, very heavy loads, you wanna be very precise, you can back that down to the first setting and be very smooth. So overall, We've got, the, got a lot of new features built into the cab. It's gonna create a very high level of comfort and productivity. The operator should feel good about this machine and get into a really good rhythm getting that work done. Very excited to show this cab to, to the new operators out there. Hey, thanks for taking the time to hear our message on the 910Ks and new 914Ks. In summary, wanna let you know that we've got that new CAT optimized Z-Bar loader linkage got a brand new cab with great visibility uh, forward and to the rear with new operator tunable electronic features built in. We've got a whole new rear end with better visibility lines and a longitudinal uh, engine uh, setup. Also we've got a drivetrain here which got, has higher maximum speeds. So we have a maximum speed of 
40 kilometers an hour or 25 miles an hour to get to the next job site quicker. All summed up, this machine should feel really good to the operators, be very productive, very versatile with all the auxiliary hydraulics and coupling capability for work tools. We feel very excited about this product. So for more information, contact your local cat dealer. Thank you very much.